bro, he's got a rock. Look, he's got a rock. He's gonna kill me. Put that down. Put that down. That guy's a hothead. I say. He's gonna kill somebody. He's armed. Man, things have really gotten ugly here. <laughs> okay. Actual letters, ladies and gentlemen, from uh, actual viewers uh, just like yourselves. Well, maybe not just like yourselves, but, you know, similar in many regards. <clears throat> and now the ceremonial presentation of uh, tonight's letters. Uh, letter number one. Letter number one. Thank you, Paul. Letter number one. Excellent job. And you know, I got a uh, letter the other day from uh, Donna DiVaroni, the uh, Secretary of Education. Oh, really? Yeah, congratulating us on the ceremonial presentation of the letter. She oh, says, okay. it's about the last tradition in this country uh, to which the kids, the school kids, can look up to and admire See, and us. draw inspiration. Good for The us. ceremonial presentation Isn't of the... Boy, yeah. that's a, all right, makes me try. Put it, put it down, Pinhead. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. It's like, all of a sudden, it's West Side Story. <laughs> Letter number one. Dear Dave, I was a freshman at Freshman Orientation to Ball State, and I was uh, stunned to see that Garfield, uh, the cat, was the uh, Ball State University spokesman. Why aren't you their spokesman, your Indiana fan, Adam Minky? Well, um... <laughs> You know, uh, I did. I attended Ball State University, and then uh, Jim Davis, the guy who created Garfield, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you why Garfield uh, is their spokesman. Garfield didn't default on his student loan. That's why. <laughs> Letter number two. Letter number two. Letter number two. Letter number Letter two. Letter Letter number two. Letter. Letter number two. Letter, letter number letter, two. Letter, 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 letter number two. Our, our second letter. Our second letter. Number two. Second letter. Number two. Second letter. Number two. Second letter. Numerical designation number two. Designation of letter number two. Hi, Dave. Is Andy Rooney older than the Statue of Liberty? Sincerely, the next mayor of New York City, Victor uh, Kachinko. Uh, well, I'm glad you asked that uh, question, Victor, because it gives me a good opportunity to introduce a brand new segment of the program called Biff Henderson. Resident genius. Biff, come on out here. Resident genius. Uh, Biff, now, Victor Trachinko uh, wants to know if Andy Rooney is older, older than the Statue of Liberty. Dave, Dave, let me ask you a question. Uh-huh, what is that? Do you have a mirror? Uh, a mirror? No, not on me. Why, Biff? Because I want to see if I look like I give a rat's ass. <laughs> well, now, wait a minute, Biff. Biff, that doesn't, that doesn't sound much like Biff Henderson, resident genius. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Dave. I thought we were doing Biff Henderson, quick-witted son of a bitch. Oh, no. Henderson, quick-witted son of a bitch. Thank you very much. There was some cute confusion there. A little mix-up. All right, letter number three, ladies and gentlemen. Letter All right, three. ladies and gentlemen, a letter Our number Our next letter three. is letter, letter number three. Ladies and gentlemen, letter number three. Ladies and gentlemen, letter number three. <laughs> Inspirational and annoying. <laughs> uh, dear Dave, have you ever thought about uh, you and Paul hosting your own blooper show? Uh, what the hell do you think we're doing here tonight, for God's ah! sakes? Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Am I right? Ah! Put a mackerel in your pants. Ah, Am I right? Hey, oh, there hey, it goes. Oh. There it goes. Take another one. Oh. 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 Hey, stop. Uh, shut up. <laughs> Uh, question, have we ever thought about doing a blooper show? Uh, Paul, we talked, we, no, we never really oh, talked we, about it. Well, we talked about it. But we you know would, who does a blooper do show? Uh, Bob Borden, our mailroom oh, kid. Hey, mailman? He has a blooper videotape. It's hilarious. No Roll Bob Borden's mailroom uh, bloopers. Here I am attempting to call the post office to check on overnight rates when I accidentally dial the number of my friend who lives in Denmark. That's going to cost CBS a bundle. Here I am running CBS mail through the automatic postmark stamper when I mistakenly run all of my personal mail through as well. Not what Bob had in mind. And here I am on my lunch break. I reach under my desk for a bottle of orange juice but come up with another beverage altogether. The mail room bloopers. Yeah, all right, I saw you slipped there, you okay? Get yourself a safety harness. Seriously, get your tether yourself to the camera so you don't topple over. Just shut up. <laughs> now he's got a mic. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here now is letter number four. Here now ladies is letter gentlemen. number ladies four. Gentlemen. Here now. Ladies this is letter number four, ladies and gentlemen. Number four. Our letter final letter. Number four. Our final letter. 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 Six foot putt. Leaving him with about a six foot putt. Six foot par. On the tricky 11th green, it's about a six foot putt for par. Breaking sharply to the left. And this will put him two under for the turn. And this will put him in two under for the Dear Dave, uh, what do you think about the new Secretary General of the United Nations, Vincent Paperni of Fort Washington, Maryland? Uh, excellent question. I don't really know much about him, but I, I do know one thing. I hope Boutros Boutros Ghali left him a spare Boutros. What? Oh, my God. Wow. Look at those balloons. Look at that. You know, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you know what this means? We have just done our 1,000th Boutros Boutros Ghali joke. And I, wait a minute, I understand, I understand on the phone now is uh, Mr. Boutros Boutros Ghali him, himself. Hello, uh, Mr. Boutros Boutros Ghali. Hello, David. Uh, Mr. Boutros uh, Ghali, I'd uh, like to thank you for your fine work at the UN, and also I certainly hope you don't mind us making fun of your name. No, no problem at all, David. Your comedy has been a pleasant diversion from all my geopolitical headaches. Uh -huh. Is this really Boutros Boutros Gali? Well, no, it's Tony Randall. Oh, my God! You know, what that means, this is the 1,000th time we've used Tony Randall to get cheap applause. Tony, come on out here and take a bow.